<clears throat> Again, uh, good evening and um, thank you for joining us. We're going to conduct a webinar for Aurora Science and Tech. Um, my name is Peter Sherman. I am the school director for the school. Uh, Aurora Science and Tech, or as we call it, AST, will be a, a new middle and high school in Northwest Aurora. So we're very excited about it and uh, thrilled that you've joined us tonight to be able to uh, learn a little bit about it. Uh, tonight, uh, our objectives are to learn about uh, AST, to share a little bit about our unique approach to academics, activities, and our school culture, and to understand the application process and hopefully answer some of your questions. DSST is a public school um, network that operates 13 different schools in Denver under Denver Public Schools. AST will be our first school in Aurora. Um, we will be authorized by Aurora Public Schools. We have a very unique mission statement at DSST and we're proud to uh, uh, very explicitly address the inequities in our public school system. Our mission is to transform public education by eliminating educational inequity and preparing all students for success in college and the 21st century. Um, so we're opening a new school in Northwest Aurora because we know that, uh, that families in Northwest Aurora in this part of our city um, are looking forward to having uh, more higher quality school options. We commit that uh, we'll provide the highest quality education so every one of our students will be prepared to graduate and be accepted to college. And when, at DSST, when we say all students, we mean every single one of them, all students with special needs and at whatever level they, uh, they come to us with. We have uh, uh, four main uh, elements of our uh, core model, academic preparation, values development, integrated schools, and college success. Uh, like all of the DSST schools, AST will include these components, uh, these elements, and tonight we'll talk a little bit more about each of these. One way that our schools translate that, uh, our mission into reality is through articulating and living by six core values. We believe that a values-based education uh, community adds a needed layer to setting and maintaining high expectations for our students. Whereas there are lots of valid values, we focus on these six. Respect, responsibility, courage, curiosity, integrity, and doing your best. We talk about these values every day, we infuse them into our classes, and we provide feedback and awards to encourage our students to, and, and adults to demonstrate them. We find that our core values really become an important and a meaningful driver for our staff, students, and families. So um, AST, uh, as I said earlier, is, uh, represents a partnership between Aurora Public Schools and DSST Public Schools. Um, AST will uh, begin with sixth grade uh, and will grow to, be, to include a 12th grade. So we'll have one campus that will include sixth through 12th grade. Next fall, we'll open with 156 graders um, and then we'll grow one grade level per year from there. Um, all, AST will be ultimately located on the Anschutz Medical Campus uh, in a brand new facility. Our building won't be ready, however, until the fall of 2020. So for the first year, next year, we'll operate in the Fletcher Elementary School building along with Rocky Mountain Prep. Uh, I'll show you a map on the next slide. Fletcher is on 25th Avenue uh, at Havana, between Havana and Iola. So um, uh, very close um, to where the Anschutz Campus, uh, the permanent location will be. Uh, at AST, we've chosen the owl or the great horned owl as our mascot. First, we know that we uh, and hope that we'll see some owls from our school along the Sand Creek and the Tollgate uh, Creeks. Um, but we also know that owls represent wisdom and sort of forward looking. Um, so we'll need some good cheers. Um, so we're going to know that our students and our staff will help us really build out the culture around uh, the owl. Uh, here's a map about where we'll be located. On the left side of the screen, you can see our temporary location to be at the Fletcher uh, Elementary School building, which is again on 25th and, uh, and Iola. And then our permanent building um, for the fall of 2020 will be on the north side of Anschutz Medical Campus. Um, Anschutz Medical Campus, if you're not aware, is where there are three hospitals. University of Colorado has um, five different schools there, graduate schools and uh, medical schools, and there's hundreds of uh, research um, labs on that campus. We're really excited to be on the campus 
because of all the incredible opportunities that that will afford us and our students. Um, I'll speak to those a little bit more uh, throughout the webinar. So again, my name is Peter Sherman and I'll be the school director. I'm really excited to have joined uh, DSST over the summer to take on the challenge of uh, designing and opening the school. I have been in public education here in the metro area and uh, in California for uh, over 25 years. I've led several schools and most recently uh, have experience working at the state level. I'm in the process of hiring um, all of the wonderful adults that will serve our kids. Um, we are hiring teachers in a variety of different uh, subject areas. We will um, also hire a, a small administrative team, which will grow over time, um, support staff, including uh, office manager, a social worker, and a technology coordinator. So um, by the time next August comes, I'm certain that we will have a team of amazing individuals that will uh, be as excited as I am about starting the school. So what makes DSST unique? Uh, a couple of um, bullet points to walk through here. Um, we offer a very well-rounded liberal arts program um, and we specialize in STEM subjects. STEM are science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, at, uh, um, we also will create sort of progressive pathways of studies uh, in STEM and I'll speak to those in a couple of slides from here. At, D at all DSST schools, every student is issued a laptop for the school year um, kids can take those home. They use them uh, throughout the day uh, during, uh, during class. We use them very intentionally. Um, so we want to be sure that our students have the tools that they need. And we want to also give them the responsibility of managing a uh, computer. At AST, we also um, emphasize the development of language, both academic speaking, reading and writing. That'll be an integral part of AST. We also will expect hands-on, active and engaging learning for all of our, our students. And then we'll have athletics and clubs and uh, other uh, variety of different activities. Um, again, we'll speak to those in, in more detail. So a little bit of context just about um, who DSST is. We expect to be extremely successful in Aurora. And I wanna share with you just a little bit about our success in Denver uh, over the last, since 2004, when our first school um, was opened. So uh, on the top bar here, you can see uh, there are four different uh, middle schools of our DSST middle schools. Those DSST schools uh, are, are um, uh, run four of the top eight middle schools in Denver uh, during this last year, according to our school performance ratings. And then of our high schools, um, DSST operates six of the top eight high schools in uh, Denver public schools. Um, so we're very proud of those records and um, we expect that we will be up at the very top of the rankings of schools in Aurora when uh, after um, as, as our students um, uh, are assessed. Um, we're also very proud that 100% of DSST graduates have been accepted into four-year colleges and universities. That's one of our goals and uh, part of our mission is for to be able to prepare all of our students to get to be accepted, to attend, and then to be successful and graduate from uh, college. So um, that's a big part of um, how we prepare kids. And AST, that will be something that will start on day one in sixth grade and work with our students, not only academically, but developing the expectations and the understanding of what a college and a university education is. I'll go on now to talk a little bit more in detail about uh, core academics, about our electives and experiential learning about our extracurriculars and about our school community and culture. So our core academics, um, students will engage um, through middle school and high school in year long uh, courses in these core subjects in literacy, math, science and social studies. Um, a lot of uh, we, um, foreign language is important we will likely not be able to offer foreign language as a core class in middle school, but we'll begin offering um, foreign languages in ninth grade as our middle as our high school uh, begins. Um, but we do uh, uh, expect to be able to offer um, Spanish or other foreign languages uh, with our after school clubs. And again, I'll speak with those uh, about those uh, shortly. <clears throat> also, um, we, ex we uh, will design our schools such that our students have opportunities to do internships on the medical campus and in other industry um, beginning in 11th grade. And all of our 
all of our seniors or 12th graders uh, complete a capstone project, which is a very in-depth sort of thesis about their, uh, about a field of study and about their interests. Um, so those are some core academic components that we have. You can see on this slide some of the asterisks. We do offer advanced placement classes because we believe that's important for um, giving kids the opportunity to earn credit for college um, when they are, uh, when, as they're still in high school. So you can see that those AP courses are um, options for students as well. Um, so on this slide, uh, I'll talk a little bit about the electives in our experiential learning. Some of our electives will include middle school STEM courses, again, science, technology, engineering, and math courses. Those will be in engineering and computer science and design thinking. We will also offer middle school arts for students. We'll offer physical education um, from sixth to 10th grade. And then um, possible high school electives might include bioscience, engineering, computer science, visual arts, drama, and music. Um, those uh, electives will be developed um, uh, uh, develop further, but they will also, we, you know, we want to be able to know who our students are to be able to understand what some of their interests are. And then this um, chart down on the bottom, we wanted to give you an idea about how uh, students' experiences will progress over time from sixth grade through twelfth grade. So we think about some school-based learning um, and sort of um, how that progresses, um, sort of from exploratory courses in the earlier years into more in-depth pathway and elective courses as that goes on, as time goes on. And then we also wanna think about experiential learning. So how are our students going to really benefit from being on the Anschutz Medical Campus and from uh, other partnerships that we will develop uh, outside of that campus? So we expect that all of our students will have uh, access to guest speakers. Our goal for the sixth grade is that each student gets a chance to be able to be in front of guest speakers at least twice a month. We'll develop off-site visits. We want our students to progressively be able to get onto the medical campus, into labs, potentially into the hospitals, or into industry or other, uh, uh, other rich sites uh, off campus. Um, and then we'll also develop clubs, which will help um, supplement uh, a lot of the learning that we have. And then you can see that experiential learning track as it builds into high school around college and career exploration opportunities, internships, clubs, and the capstone um, uh, project. Um, some extracurriculars. We will offer after school sports. Um, we will have a league either in the DSST league or through Aurora Public Schools for middle school. We have to work that out still. We will likely have these sports that are listed here, soccer, volleyball, flag football, basketball, and potentially others. We know that athletics are really important for our students. And we know that it's um, not only good for their, uh, for their brains, but for their bodies as well. So we want to develop healthy habits for our kids. So uh, we will certainly develop uh, athletics. Some of that may be driven by our staff skills and interests as well as our, our students. And then we'll also have a series of after school clubs. Um, we'll start with as many clubs as we can during the first year. I expect that we'll be able to offer at least half a dozen clubs. Again, those will be driven by some of the expertise and interests that our staff have for leading those clubs, as well as what our students are interested in. Um, we'll also probably hire outside folks to be able to have some outside vendors to be able to offer skills and activities for our students. Around the school culture and community, I think one of the most unique aspects of DSST schools, and this will be true for AST, is that every student is known by name. We are a small community, we're a small school, and uh, the adults, um, are very much in relationship with the students uh, in a way that we find to be valuable and to really develop um, students in their academic and social and emotional growth. We, one of the ways we do that is through our daily advisory. Students are assigned to an adult as an advisor. Um, they meet with that advisor regularly and the advisor becomes sort of a, an anchor relationship for each student. We also do that through morning meetings. These are whole school meetings that where we pull together all the students and uh, adults. Um, we'll start by doing that several times a week. And then finally, we build a small, uh, a safe environment to really be ensure that we have clear and consistent behavior expectations for our students. And then we certainly will have a behavior management and discipline systems to be able to back those up. Um, very quickly, a typical day at AST, as you can see, um, involves an advisory, morning meeting times, 
and then our core academics. We'll have lunch and recess in the middle of the day at some point. And then we'll also have some, a rotation of uh, different electives. So between arts and STEM and um, PE, which I forgot to type in there. Um, and then uh, we'll also be able to offer some clubs and athletics after school. Uh, finally, a couple of logistical and operational um, aspects. Our school day, we um, are not certain of the exact time yet, but I expect that it will be about 8.15 to 4.15, so it's a full day. Um, our school calendar will closely match that of other DSST schools because we align a lot of our programming with the other DSST schools. Uh, again, we will have that uh, finalized in the next couple of weeks. Um, we provide lunch and breakfast for students. Um, transportation for AST will not be provided, so we will be glad to help facilitate and connect uh, folks to be able to figure out ways to transport kids every day. Um, we're hoping that um, we'll be able to provide some before and after school care uh, on the campus next year. That's something that's still in development. We will have school uniforms. It will likely be a couple different colors of polo shirts and khaki and black pants, but we'll clarify that as well. And then just to clarify again, Aurora Science and Tech is a public school. There's no tuition. Um, and so um, we are open to all students. And then finally, the application process. How do you get into AST? Uh, applications for our lottery are open now, uh, all the way through February 28th. And um, you can go to our website and there is a link there directly where you can apply. Uh, our lottery, we will then run an independently administered, an administered lottery, uh, which will determine placements. Um, uh, residents in uh, Aurora Public Schools will have priority. However, folks from outside of Aurora Public Schools are more than welcome to uh, apply and we encourage that. Um, we'll notify families of placements um, by March 12th and then we'll ask you to confirm that within two weeks. And then um, after that, if there are still seats available or for a wait list, we'll accept more applications. Uh, we will have orientations for families in April or May. And then we'll also conduct um, what we're calling a um, sort of a summer bridge. Uh, there'll be um, about a week and a half where we'll ask all of our students that are accepted to join us for half days. And that will be in the middle of June. And um, uh, those days are very important for us. Um, so we thank you. Um, you. I'll give you a minute here to capture uh, our website and or my contact information if you have questions. And then I'm going to um, uh, go back to that application page so you can um, see that information because I know that's really important. But I think we are uh, open to hearing your questions. Great. So one question is, what is it like to be part of a founding class at a school? Uh, well, it's something that motivated me for joining and taking on this role. Um, a founding school, a, found, a founding class at a school is an incredibly opportune, uh, gr great opportunity. Um, what that allows us to do is to really uh, establish and set a culture of what sort of a school will we have. And as adults, of course, we will drive that. We have, we have very clear um, ideas about what sort of a culture we want to have. It will be a warm, engaging, welcoming uh, culture for all of our families and all of our students. Um, but I think for our, for, for our students and our teachers that will be hiring, it's really a unique thing to be part of that founding, uh, founding um, cohort. Uh, we find that at our other schools that have opened, it's a really special uh, relationship that that um, group of students uh, has with one another. Great, um, another question is, um, Without being able to provide transportation, how will we help families uh, get students to school? That's a great question. What we will do uh, as we offer seats, we will um, have a survey and in that survey, we'll ask you a little bit about if transportation is a challenge. And if so, we'll um, figure out a way to be able to connect families, whether it's sort of a map of some sort or just let folks be able to, to list out the general uh, part, of, part of town where they live. So we want to try to be able to connect one another. As I said earlier, we're also exploring, uh, there may be some after or before school care, before and after school care options uh, at Fletcher for next year. So that may be a possibility as well. Our permanent um, facility will be located where it is on Anschutz, is directly across the street from the light rail. So that may be an option for some families as well. 
Um, so maybe our last, um, our last uh, question is just what am I most excited about for next year? I mean, I think being part of a founding team and a founding uh, staff of adults at a school is an incredible opportunity. I'm really um, can't wait to get to meet our new students and our families and welcome them to our school. And again, sort of co-create um, what our uh, what the day is going to look like and what our what kind of a feel our school has because we know that our students are just hungry for learning. And so for us to be able to create an environment where that's possible and encouraged and our kids are really engaged, um, just to be able to do that is, uh, is incredibly exciting. 